What's happening everybody? Welcome back to Life at the Hamids. Today is a lovely day. Me and Daffy are out at the allotment and we're trying to get a lot done. Um, today we're basically going to be planting our heirloom tomatoes and I'm going to be making a wigwam while Daffy clears up an area to create another bed for cucumbers and possibly a squash plant. I've got something in mind but not too sure. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you have not done already. Um, it makes a big difference to us and motivates us to make lots and lots more content. So in this bed, what I'm doing is I'm transplanting the heirloom tomatoes that I put in the other bed because they're a determinant variety. And the rest of the tomatoes that I put in the other bed were indeterminate, which means they just keep growing until the season runs out. So I decided to separate my determinant and indeterminants. Now here what you can see is Daffy's already dug up this area for a new bed however there's lots of bindweed if you can see um, she's pulling out these long stringy um, vines or whatever you want to call them roots um, and there's a lot of them so she's clearing them out and we're getting rid of them we are not composting these we're just putting them in a bag ready to just dispose of with our waste collection um, but there were so many and um, I'm sure some are going to grow back, but we're going to be dealing with them. It's going to be a no dig bed and it's going to be all right. At the back, you can see me making a wigwam. Um, it's not that hard. You just get the string, you get your canes and you wrap it around the top. I interweave them and basically tie them together and then stuck them in. Now, the ground was quite solid. So what I had to do was just wet it a little bit and um, leave it for a second and then push them back down in um, further to make it strong and stable so that's what i'm doing but it's, it's not a hard job to make a wigwam and they're for my beans i'm going to do a lot of beans this year and see how that goes so you can see me now helping out daffy cleaning the other side of the fence fencing that's where i'm going to plan to put my cucumber plants possibly climbing plants so make use of all the space there but this place when i took off the ground and dug it up there was just so many bindweed i didn't realize there was that many bindweed um under the ground but we dealt with it now here what i did was i had um, some indeterminate tomato varieties at home so i brought them and i planted them in exactly where i took out the bush tomato um, plants the heirlooms so i'm just putting them in and replanting them hopefully they'll catch up with the money makers on the left but i've i've from what i recall the sweet million i've got artesian bumblebee i've got um, black moon or, um, a few others I'll put them into the description for you but they're they're all indeterminate varieties and they keep growing and they're very very good producers but yeah it didn't take too long the gardens coming along you can see the potato um, plants behind me um, I've got two lanes of those and the second one started to come up the corn's going well it's been lovely getting everything ready and if you could see it now it's flourishing and everything's growing. There's an abundance of crops that are nearly ready to harvest. And those videos will be coming soon. But as you can see, step by step, I'm showing you the progress and the fruits of hard work, dedication and our labor. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, share it with your friends, leave comments and hit that notification bell if you've, especially if you've enjoyed these videos and find them useful. I will be doing how to videos eventually but this is my first year and I wanted to show you how it's done. Catch you in the next one.